Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of an OTAO. This is the model CJ5558TH. This is a humidity and temperature display and monitor. This is the unit itself right here. Comes with a little instruction manual and a welcome card telling you how you can get warranty service or any help about the product. This product uses three AAA batteries. It does not come with the batteries, so you're going to have to provide those. You can see on the top it has controls for the mode, setting, the light control, and up and down controls. On the side of it, there is a DC in 5 volts where you can use a USB port, but you'd have to get this special connector on there to power this if you want to power it using AC power. On the back, you'll notice it has a nice stand that pulls out. You can see the profile right there. That's one way of using it on a table, just like that. Then if you close that, you'll notice that on the back there is also a mechanical mount. And let's put a little flashlight on it so you can see that. And that way you can put it on a wall using a, a small nail or a screw. And then you notice there's four magnets on the top right there, which is really nice. So if you had a uh, refrigerator or cabinet, you can see that it will hold it up. Now these are really strong magnets. Uh, this is, I can't even pull this off this. It's unbelievable, it's very strong. So you're not gonna have any problems with this unit being supported using those magnets. So let's just see if we could run through how to set this up. You can see it's got the opening on this. You slide this down and you have the three AAA battery sections there. And you see the spring, you want to put the negative, which is typical. Of course, the negative is the flat part of the battery, and the positive has a little tab. So we're going to put it in just like that. I would like to rotate them to get any oxidation off. And let's close this up. I heard a beep on the other side. And I see the unit has come on. And uh, showing me a battery status right there, telling me the uh, batteries. And I see humidity, 20% right off the bat. And if I hit the light button right here, it lights up really nice. That's the maximum and minimum percentages of humidity. And there's a little icon right there saying dry. A little, a little uh, face showing you what you really want. You want to be in the green right there. And I'm sure that will be reflected if this humidity was going up. There's a little arrow right there, which is showing that the humidity is rising. A little arrow right there. And on the bottom, it is 22 degrees, 22.2 degrees centigrade right on there. And then you have maximum and minimum. So because we just turned the unit on, they're pretty much the same. So this is the temperature that is in my basement. And as I'm holding this, it's probably going to rise the temperature. Now, I haven't set the time. There are multiple alarms on this that you could set um, once you go through and set the time, which is really nice. So on the top here, you have an up, down, and light, and the set, and then a mode button. So if we hit the light button and go to mode, that's an alarm mode right there. You see the little alarm symbol, alarm one and two and then the time. So if I hit set, you can see it's blinking and I could hit the up button. So right now it's in 24 hour mode. So I can put, that's four. And there's the month and you can increase the month and the day. You have to hit the set first.
that you can change the month and then you can change the day. So that's nice. So you have a choice. You have a setting for the month and the day and the time. So this can be used by your bedside. And what's nice is that you uh, can just touch that button right there and it will show you the display. There's also the option of this display coming on when you uh, clap. So on the back of the unit, there is a little switch there and it has an on and off position. And that's the voice control position to turn the light on and off. So let's have this light reset itself and shut off. And then we're going to try if we could tap or clap to make it come on. So there the light went off. Now let's see if I could clap. And there you go, it comes on. So that's nice. So that when it's by your bedside, the light could come on with just you tapping. And also, you don't even have to clap because if you had this on your nightstand, you could just touch your table just like I did and it comes right on. That's a really nice handy feature. So some of the specifications of this, see how nice that is? I can just touch the table and it comes right on. It has um, indoor temperature working range of minus 10 to 60 degrees C or 14 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature accuracy is plus or minus one degrees centigrade or plus or minus 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The indoor humidity working range, which is the humidity number right there, is 20 to 99% of humidity. The accuracy is plus or minus 5%. The detection time for temperature and humidity, they are scanned every 30 seconds, which is nice. That's pretty often. And I showed you his five keys for mode, setup, set up, uh, set up, and up and down, and the light. So in the standard mode, you want to press the down key to switch to Celsius or Fahrenheit. So I have it on Celsius right now, which is what I wanted. So there are three groups of alarms with sleep functions on this unit. You could set those. And I showed you the sound control function. And this uh, minimum and maximum will show you the changes within 24 hour period. Same thing with the humidity would be a 24 hour period. And I think I mentioned that it has the battery capacity right there, which is nice so that you can see how the battery is doing. And there's the alarm symbols right here, the three groups. Right now we just have one group enabled. So you have three different alarms you could set during a 24 hour period, which is nice. What do I think about the CJ-5558TH, the humidity and temperature module? I really like this. Um, the display is really nice. Uh, I've had other ones that didn't have a display like this. I mean, just look at look at the even evenness of that blue on there. It's very easy to read. You don't have the normal LCD distortion that you see on a lot of the other units. So I like that. I like the fact that I can tap my table and I like the different mounting options, the three different mounting options, the magnet, the stand, and the wall mount. So either one of those will work fine for your application. This is a really cool product. It's also a nice size. You can see by my hand, it's not small, not too big. So I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell symbol so that you're alerted when I upload new videos. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.